<laughs> All right, well, let's get right into these patch notes. Um, so as you can see on the screen, uh, there's one big thing that happened. Uh, but I said I'm gonna go over everything. I say one big thing, uh, kind of a lack of a big thing. It's the only thing that happened to the class that needed a big thing. But anyways, let's go over these really quick. A bunch of issues fixed. Um, most of these are pretty irrelevant. This is the one big one I think. Fixed an issue where certain item holders could uh, could float in the air, such as arrows, had a blocking effect. Uh, this is. I mean, it's surprising that this is an issue. I kind of thought this was just a feature in the game. I think a lot of other people did as well. Um, other than that, uh, this right here is the next big one that actually really really matters. Fix the inventory so it cannot be interacted with when the druid is in animal form. This is huge. This makes it so, like, ratting. Like, you can't literally rat form steal stuff from bodies. Uh, fantastic change. Literally would probably the best change of the entire patch. Other than that, like I said, everything is, like, relatively, um, like, irrelevant. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, increase the interaction time required when interacting with the enemy player's corpse. Interacting with an ally's corpse remains the same as before. Uh, this is good. Um, it just prevents, you know, ratting. Uh, if you get pushed off of bodies, this takes it so it's longer for people to, um, like, actually steal the gear off the body. So, you know, you have time to get a reset and run back. If they try to, like, just push you off, take the loot and run, they can't really do that as easily anymore. They still can, but it will take them longer. Cleric's Blunt Weapon Mastery Physical Attack Bonus has been changed from 15% to 10%. Huge Cleric nerfs here. They are doing 5% less damage with their Morning Stars. Very, very good. So instead of hitting me for 140 damage, now they're only going to hit me for like 135 or something, you know? They're 136, whatever. Whatever 5% of that is, like, so I guess that's like 7 damage. What? So like 100, they're still going to be hitting me for a million. This is ridiculous that this is the only Cleric change in the patch, and I'm going to go over this after. Uh, Warlock's Demon Form Health Cost Per Second changed for 3% to 1.5. Good, uh, good revert here. Still probably going to be shit. Druid's rat form now squeaks at random intervals. Uh, this is nice, but I don't think it's super relevant because they already nerfed the ratting on bodies. And other than that, this isn't really going to matter. It's good, but it's not super crazy. Uh, Lycan's big bonus has been increased from 3 to 4, and headshot damage reduction has been added to 10. So this is just 100 times better than Lizard now because this gives 4 vigs a base, which is a shit ton. And you have 10% headshot reduction. I mean, yeah, you don't have the armor, but the armor is kind of whatever. Armor penetration of Sarandal and Stiletto has been changed from 10% to 5%. Uh, pretty good change here. Definitely needed. I mean, this is I mean, this is it's really a 10% nerf overall because before they were holding both of them getting 20%. Now they're only holding... Um, now if they hold both, they only get 10%. Pretty good change. I mean, they still have 30% with the rest on and then 40% from weak points. So it's still way too much in my opinion, but it is what it is. Spellbook, Crystal Ball, and Wizard Staff now have 5%, 10%, and 15% Magic Pen respectively. The Crystal Ball and Wizard Staff change are good, uh, but the Spellbook change, I mean, this is pretty much just like giving it a free roll of penetration, which is good. Nothing crazy. Increase the damage of Longbows by one. Uh, cool. I mean, is what it is. Slight damage increase. Nothing wrong there. They were kind of weak. No one was really using Longbows. But they also nerfed armor like right here, so I don't know why they're buffing all this damage. Well, I guess not all the damage, but damage. Slightly lower the amount of magic resistance earned per will within the sweet spot of the curve, tw uh, 21 to 29. Once again, don't know why this was necessary. I don't. I think this is stupid. Like, people only just started building will to get MR. I guess they don't want it to give as much as it does, but, I mean, if you don't, then, like, what's the point of fucking building it, right? Like, power? No. Buff duration? I mean, yeah, it's cool, but something you're not building it just for that. Uh, slightly lowered the amount of PDR earned per armor rating within the upper sweet spot curve of around 200 armor rating. I don't know why they buffed this. Like, I already nerfed this. I don't know, like, why did they do this? This doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I, don't, I just don't understand. Like, you just buffed the fuck out of pin, and then you so you finally nerfed it because you realized pin was too strong. But then you do that, you nerf armor. Like, what? Like, the only class that even uses PDR and armor well right now is fucking Cleric. Like, that's the only class that's even remotely using it. Fighter isn't really good, or Fighter's pretty fucking dog shit, and Barbarian isn't really using armor like that. Most of Barbarian's tankiness comes from, like, fucking H raw HP and then shit like Savage Roar. So this nerf really only hurts, like, Fighter and Cleric, but it doesn't even hurt Cleric that much because they have Divine Protection. So effectively, they only need to reach 45% PDR, and they're going to do that no matter what. Um, And then, probably for one of the worst changes they've ever done... Let me make sure it's... Okay, okay it's still showing on my uh, OBS... This is literally 
Unique slash artifact grade weapons now have better primary attributes than their legendary counterparts. Unique slash artifact grade items give it a ran additional random modifier, and non artifact unique items now drop in the game again. Why? Like, genuinely, why in the fuck are they doing this? So, if you don't know, effectively what this does is now your chance of getting a name just got cut by somewhere probably like 70 percent plus you are now you're like uh you're gonna get a name about a quarter of the time that you did before and if you don't know for crips hr bosses it was about a three percent chance to get a named item on wyvern it was like six percent now for lich it's gonna be under one percent and wyvern's gonna be somewhere probably around one to two percent give or take because effect so what it, uh how it works is what happens when they draw uh, how would like how the loot table calculates is you kill something and then it rolls the rarity of an item and then it rolls the item itself so you know if you get like if it rolls it'll roll like a legendary item and then it picks from all the possible legendary items so before what it would do when there were no other uh artifact items was it would roll a unique rarity item and okay well look at the pool every unique rarity item is a named item so you could only get named items now it rolls unique rarity it rolls through armor it rolls through jewelry uh instruments fucking all all like every weapon it rolls all these things and you have to get lucky enough to land on an item that has a named part to get an artifact and i'm as i'm sure you guys know there are a lot of random pieces of uh, armor and weapons and tools and everything else in the game that aren't artifacts i'm not sure the exact number but however many there are compared to how many ever many actual artifacts there are like whatever you know the percentage is like the ratio that's your chance of getting a named item um this is just stupid like if this wipe they finally actually it actually felt possible to get named items so and for reference before this wipe i had about two thousand hours on the game in my 2,000 hours of Dark and Darker, I only got, like, three named items for bossing the entire time. This wipe, I've gotten five. And now, with this change, it's going to go back to being incredibly rare. This change alone makes it go from you get a named item roughly, like, at odds, it's about every 33 bosses. From, from this point on, it's going to be about every 100 bosses plus. Like, that's on, like, the low side, right? It's just, it's stupid. Like, I just... This really pretty much makes it so unless you're really, really lucky, most players are never going to come into contact with getting a named item. It's fucking stupid. Uh, volumetric Fog and Ice Cavern has been temporarily removed for improvements. The Goblin Merchant now gives a uh, 25% discount on 75 Infinity. Oh, 50, okay, it's in Infinity discount. Improved visibility of the search button in the marketplace. What does that even mean? I don't know. Uh, this week's hotfix introduces minor balance changes and the reintroduction of the unique grade items to the lo item loot pool to make looting a little more enticing for high rollers. What? <laughs> like, what? Unless, and I say, oh, this is, okay, only and only if, if they made non-artifact unique items drop from like random like they can drop not from boss, they can drop from like chest or mobs or whatever, then okay cool change however i don't think they did that if they did that i'm okay with it i'll say it if they did that i am perfectly okay with it however if they did it this is literally the it does the opposite oh now we have a significantly lower chance of getting named items like the loot just got worse before you actually had a de pretty decent chance at um getting a named item from hr now you and so people that was at least one reason for people to go now you don't you know, it's just stupid. Like, that's... This patch could have been so good because they did some really, really good... They did some really, really good changes. Like, making it so rats can't loot. Increased the looting time on bodies. And then, you know, um, I mean, and then they did some really stupid ones. Armor, like, PDR nerf. When half the PDR characters are dog shit. The, uh, Will MR nerf. So Will goes back to being mostly useless for every character in the game. Um, They gave pin to magic items, which is like, okay, cool, I guess... Um, I mean, this is, I mean, this is fine. I, I don't really, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I mean, I think Crystal Ball and Wizard Staff needed some sort of love because they weren't very good. But Spellbook, like I said, this pretty much just gives it a free pen roll, which isn't the worst. Armor Pen on Dagger Nerf. Great. This was good. Really good change. Needed to happen. But then, the only nerf they give to Cleric, which is objectively the best character in the entire fucking game, that has been dominating solos, duos, 
trios for the past two weeks is you nerf blunt weapon mastery by 5%, from 15% to 10%. That is the only nerf. And then get this, get this. They did another patch after because something fucked up where they did further They did further uh, balance changes. They did a couple more balance changes. They nerfed um, Druid's Dreamwalk, and we still didn't get a Cleric change here. We got a bigger Druid nerf than we did Cleric nerf. Like, what? How? I just, I just don't get it. How do they keep doing these... Yo, Pashi thinks they're raid. How do they keep doing these awful fucking changes? I just, I just don't get it. I genuinely don't. I mean, like I said, I, I mean, like, there are a lot of good changes in this, but then they just all, this, like, this is a classic Iron Mace patch where they do a bunch, they do, like, some good things, they do the things that are really, really needed, but then they just miss, like, the elephant in the room. They miss the big thing that needs to be adjusted. And it's just, I mean, like, the thing is, so, and this, like, you know what's funny about this, like, armor pen nerf is all of this, do all this here does is makes it so they can't, like, insta-kill tanks, right? This does nothing to save anyone else that's not a cleric or a fighter. Like, rangers, warlocks, wizards, I mean, non-plate clerics, even barbarians to an extent. Like, they still get insta-killed by rogues. Like, this doesn't really change anything. This nerf literally only helps, like, fighters. Even then, it's not even that big of a change. Because after you take into account um, thrust plus, like, weak point, 10% uh, pen is really going to be such a small amount. But yeah, um, I mean, this is, like I said, this is the big one to me. This is just pretty upsetting. Literally, all you're going to, like, I mean, this, all HR is going to be after this is it's it's just still going to be the same thing. You're going to run into double cleric bard, or you're going to run into, um, you're going to run into, what is it, cleric whiz bard. You're just going to run into a cleric with smite frontline comps, and that's all you're going to fight. If you even find people, because HR has been pretty much completely dead. And now with the change to, um, named items... Like, with this right here, the lower chance to get named items, I mean, even less people are going to be in HR. So, most people are pro most people are probably just going to be in norms, I guess, farming the Timmies. I, like, I, I genuinely just don't understand. It's such a weird change. And then, like, yeah, I mean, if you look at the, uh, the armor change, you're like, oh, this is a cleric nerf. It's like, okay, yeah, like, technically speaking, this probably does nerf cleric, because it either makes it... I mean, I don't actually know how big this is in terms of the actual uh, armor rating change. But, yeah, like, technically this nerfs cleric, if and only if they're not running Divine Protection... And even if it's still, like, even if it was, like, a huge nerf to PDR, right, why not just nerf the Cleric's defensive perks that are really strong? Why nerf Fighter and Barbarian and any other class that wants to build armor, like, you know, because of Cleric being the only cl uh, class that's really, like, abusing it? It just doesn't really make sense to me. So, I mean, that kind of sums it up. Uh, just a classic Iron Mace patch. Uh, Could have been really good. A lot of really good changes in here. However, like I said, they missed the really big mark, and we're just going to be stuck fucking dying to clerics again for another week or two until they realize this class needs to be nerfed but i mean at the end of the day like let's be real when have they literally ever nerfed cleric in a meaningful way this class has been one of the best characters if not the best character in the game literally since its inception whether they're casting and healing smite frontline cleric has almost always been one of the most dominant characters in every single meta we have ever played literally of all time ever and that's literally just how it's been. It's stupid, but they just don't like nerfing Cleric. They don't. It's just one of those classes that they are allergic to nerfing. They want it to be good, so it will be good. But, um, uh, not really much to say other than that. Uh, it's going to wrap it up for the patch in this video. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, catch you guys next time. Peace.